Hello everyone, welcome to the Rebellious Garden. My name is Laura and I'm so glad you're here today. It is the middle of November. We are getting ready to get another frost, possibly. We're gonna kiss it around 6 a.m. and the temperatures are gonna go back up into the mid 50s tomorrow. But at the end of the week, we are having consistent, at least as forecast to have um, three consistent days in a row of temperatures at or below freezing overnight so i figured it's now a good time to go ahead and get my tulips in the ground also get the flowers that i have already transplanted out for next year covered up so i wanted to take you along walk you around real quick hi <laughs> so here i had gladiolus planted i have pulled them and you see little greens i have carrots planted here i'll cover them and they'll grow over the winter our winters here in eastern North Carolina are fairly mild and so um, I feel like we won't have the ca the carrots won't be ready during the winter months but very early spring they'll take off and be ready to go I did that last year they did really well so this whole area right here is sprinkled with carrots here I'm gonna be doing our tulips some of them I can probably get about 500 or so in this small space maybe more maybe close to six or seven depending i haven't planted tulips in this area yet so i'm just kind of eyeballing i know i can fit a lot in a small area i'm leaving a few lisianthus to overwinter just to see what they do and there you see more radish growing i absolutely love radish some of the tulips I've lost count of how many tulips I ordered. Long story, it's just one of them things. You order stuff and you just forget. So then you order more. Empty bed, empty bed, empty bed, empty bed. Watching out for spider webs. Still have tomatoes growing. Here I have some of my cabbage and I guess my soil is rather healthy because mushrooms have started growing. But have cabbages growing here. Here is your status update. But don't bunch. Those are status that I have transplanted out that I started inside. So they're doing really well. I have more over here. I've left some of the amaranth and celosia up because a lot of the bees are still going to it. So I wanted to leave some things in here until they hunker down for the winter. But I have more status here. I was terrified and I have like a rogue carrot right there. Um, I was terrified the other day after I transplanted them out. They've been out here for two days now because the subtropical system, Nicole, was coming through. And I thought our rain was done. And then about 1130 at night, we had a, like the rain ended that morning. About 1130 that night, we had a massive, heavy downpour for about 30 minutes. And I just looked at my husband and I said, you know what? All my uh, seedlings are beat to a pulp now. But I was tickled when I got up the next day and I saw that everything was still standing. My dahlias are still here. I'm gonna leave them until they have a killing frost. As a matter of fact, you can see right there, I have a little dahlia flower. But, so the dahlias are there. I have snapdragons here. I'm just leaving up this net but I'm gonna cover all this with frost fabric when we get to that point in the weather. And all of those are snapdragons. I'm leaving the Rebecca in the tire just to see what it does over winter. And as far as the big garden is concerned, it has been pulled. Everything's out of it but the dahlias. And I'm going to seed it. See, that is why I left some of this stuff out here because of the little bees. Um, but I'm going to leave it to rest over winter and then start planting stuff out in the spring there. But there is. So what I'm going to do out here today is I'm going to dig out several inches of dirt and I'm just going to do them in small sections at a time, but I'm going to dig out several inches of dirt. I'm going to put my tulip bulbs into the ground and you place them really close together and then cover them back up with dirt. That way they'll have plenty of time to sit there and get cold throughout the winter months. And that way in spring, we'll have beautiful tulips ready to go. Hurry up. 
really hope that camera angle is semi-decent for you and the wind is not making up too much noise. Um, I'm gonna plant these tulips several inches deep into this dirt. I dug it up and tried to get it as even as I could in here, leaving the beautiful plant with the bee on it right next to it. And what I do is I use an egg carton method because with tulips, when you're planting them, when you are planting them for cut flowers, you don't have to worry about leaving space for more of a bulb, like another bulb to grow into it, baby bulbs grow the following year. Because when you would pull the tulips for your cut flowers, you're pulling the whole bulb itself, the entire thing. And so when you plant your tulips, you plant them, the little flat part, which is your root side down, pointy side up, and you literally put them in here like they're sitting in an egg carton, really close to one another. It actually goes quick, especially if you have some help. I'm gonna try not to get too close to this back wall. I'm gonna leave space for my sweet peas in the spring, which I'll plant about the time. These are starting to come up out of the ground. But that's all I do. And then when I get done, I'll cover these up with dirt. We're not supposed to get rain for several days. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some water on them. Water them in really well. And then I will not water them anymore over the course of the winter. They do not need a ton of water. If I water them like I would my garden during the summer, it will cause these bulbs to rot and I definitely do not want that to happen. There's a lot of money invested in these things. So that's pretty much all that's involved in planting tulips. If I see any bulbs that look like they may be kind of sickly, have excessive mold growth, anything of that nature, then I will toss them out. And you don't want to plant bulbs in the same spot every year just in case you have some sort of disease issue. You don't want to transfer it. So I'll rotate where I plant them every few years. That way, hopefully we won't have any issues carried over from the previous year. I had some fungus issues last year and I think it's just from where it got like really hot really fast. Because in Eastern North Carolina, you don't know what the weather's gonna be from one day to the next, it seems like. I think this box right here had 175 bulbs in it. I don't know how many bulbs I ordered. Irresponsible, yes, but it is what it is. I'm happy. And I know that these flowers will make many, many people happy as well. So it is okay but I am gonna try to count because I did a thing on my Facebook page with pictures of all the bulbs in the house, getting folks to guess how many there actually were. And I don't know the official number. So we're gonna do a quick count and figure it out. But for right now, I'm gonna put you guys on a time-lapse of digging and planting.
that's for the record from that little white arch to that red post right there there are about 300 no 400 tulips sorry had to had to recount and here i'm over here in this bed which is where i had snapdragons this past year laying down some more there are maybe a hundred or more right there i didn't count i know in the little bags like that there's 25 there's 150 in these boxes and then i have a couple of bags that have a hundred in them so yeah we'll have our final count by the end of the video Look angelic with the sun's glow <laughs> well I lost count again. I have no clue how many I have planted, but I do know there's a hundred in this bag. There's a hundred in this bag. There's 25 in this bag and there's four of those. So that's another 300. And there's about another 150 to 200 bag, 150, oh, not bags, 150 to 200 tulip bulbs in the house. I had not planned to do them all today, but if that's all I have left, then I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it out. I've been working on it for two hours and I have planted a lot. <laughs> don't ask me for a total count. I will give you that at the end because I don't know. So I'm trying to, oh, there's still tulips in this box. I'm trying to keep up with all the bags and boxes so I can do like a final tally at the end so that's what we're gonna do because me trying to keep up with it this whole time is not working so like i said earlier tulips will go in the ground once they are in the ground and covered with several inches of dirt i will water them in really well and then i will not water them again all winter long most of when most of the time in the winter you get enough precipitation that it meets the need of the bulbs over the winter they'll grow roots and then in the spring when it starts to warm up you'll start seeing their little green stem shoot up out of the dirt i think i had my first ones towards the end of february i could be wrong on that but it was somewhere in there because once again we have mild winters winters but where we're at january and february are our coldest months and oddly enough um march is really cold for us so we'll see how things go i just gotta keep the weeds out of this bed this is a rather weedy bed so as the tents warm i'm gonna be diligent to keep the weeds pulled so they don't bother my tulips when I have a funky looking one or one that has an excessive amount of mold on it I don't plant it because I'm so scared that it's gonna spread some sort of disease and I have limited growing space so I don't want to have all my options as far as growing cut out for several years because of having to eradicate diseases out of my soul so I'll be here for a little while longer plant these bulbs final bag of tulips last 25 tulips i'm gonna sit you on my mountain of dirt there we go <laughs> the last bag still don't know how many i've planted <laughs> we'll figure it out though we will count And figure it out. I am so excited. I did not intend on getting all these put in today. I figured it would be like a this week and next week project. But the weather was beautiful today. The coffee was flowing through my veins. So why not? I am so excited. I cannot wait. So like I ordered some of these tulips as just like a singular color. But most of them are a mix. Um, I loved mixed colors. I don't like, I like monochromatic bouquets are pretty, but I really like mixed color bouquets. So 
that's why I just order a mix. And these are traditional single tulips, doubles, uh, the peony style, parrot, fringe, a variety of types of tulips. I have bright colors. I have like queen of the night, which is like a really dark, moody purple. So, last bulb. Woohoo! So, um, yeah, it'll be a nice variety of colors, and I cannot wait to share their beautiful blooms with you all in the spring. Let's get these covered up with some dirt. I'm done. <laughs> so excited to finally be done. <laughs> okay. Let's do our final count to figure out exactly how many tulips I have planted. I'm confident that they have all arrived in the mail. There's a cat running across. So I'm confident they have all arrived in the mail. But once again, it's kind of back, going back to that joke that I did on my Facebook page. Uh, when you're ordering stuff on Amazon late at night and you forget what you ordered. That's been me with tulips. I just went, oh, pretty, oh, pretty, and ordered. So, yeah. So, I saved all my wrappers because I know how many were in each wrapper. So, each box, making sure I don't hold up the side with my address on it. Uh, each box held 150 tulips. So, that's 300. And then these two bags held 100 each. So that's 400, make sure none are mixed up in it. And then these bags held 25 each. So I have 400. So one, two, three, four is 500. One, two, three, four, 600. One, two, three, four, seven hundred. We've already surpassed what I planted last year. One, two, three, four, eight hundred. One, two, three, four, <laughs> nine hundred. Oh Lord. One, two, three, four, thousand. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Sorry, my kids were running around the corner. So, uh, 1,100 and one, two is 1,150. I hope you all like tulips because I'm going to have plenty of them in the spring. With that being said, uh, there's, I had a roughly 10 or so that were uh, super moldy or looked kind of funky, so I did not plant them. So, roughly 1,140 tulips. So, like I was starting to say, um, not all of these will grow, not all will bloom. The winter will dictate how well they grow, as well as just the condition of the plant itself when they harvested the bulb and many other factors. But I hope I get as close to that number as possible in bloom because that would be phenomenal. And it's really cool because the bed, the first bed that you saw me planting in, that is a 20 foot board. So with the next section, uh, approximately 22 foot in length, 18 inch wide bed. There are bulbs in that, and then this eight foot by four foot bed are full of bulbs. So that's where 1,000, hello, <laughs> toot toot, um, 1,150-ish tulip bulbs fit. So when you plant them with the egg cart me uh, method, you can plant a ton in a small space. So the next thing I will be planting out are ranunculus and anemones, but you will have to come back for another video to see that. I have a lot more of those this year than last year since I was just getting my feet wet with them last year. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I cannot wait to share these tulips with you in the spring and how beautiful they are when they bloom. I hope you will come back to see me again and I hope you have a blessed day.